there are people who are visible and they are up front you see them and then there is the glue that is not visible that is hidden but is actually what holds the structure together and i would say mr yochuri was such a figure and whatever he did he always did for the interest of our country and this was always there and i used to tell him yachuri ji what is this why don't you get rid of this and that i think is the only habit that probably he wasn't able to get rid of so immediately i caught mr yachuri i said yachuri ji you're going in the car you're not going home you're going to the hospital and i ensured i told my office people that look he has to go to the hospital for me sitaram yachuri was a friend who operated in the political system when people look at politics from outside it's not easy to see the dynamics that take place inside the political system it's a unforgiving place harsh place uncomfortable place and it brings out mostly the worst in people it's rare that you see that politics brings out the best in a person and i saw mr yuchuri from the first day i started in my political journey and i observed him quite carefully and what i found was a person who was flexible who listened who even though he was on the opposite spectrum ideologically had the ability to understand where we were coming from and he also allowed us to understand where he was coming from he was a bridge in a sense between certainly the congress party and other parties in the india gathbandhan there are people who are visible and they are up front you see them and then there is the glue that is not visible that is hidden but is actually what holds the structure together and i would say mr yochuri was such a figure who in the india gathbandhan certainly and the last uh, upa gathbandhan held the architecture together and he held the architecture together because he was flexible because he listened and he didn't have the common traits that a lot of politicians have anger aggression arrogance these things were missing and this is rare in our in our work so he was a friend i dealt with him a number of times and i always noticed how the stress was countered with the cigarette and this was always there and i used to tell him yachuri ji what is this why don't you get rid of this and that i think is the only habit that probably he wasn't able to get rid of he was also very close to my mother and i would say they were even better friends than i was with him and few days ago he came to meet my mother and they were sitting there and i saw mr yochuri was coughing and i realized that both of them have the same attitude when it comes to hospitals which is that neither of them want to go to a hospital under any circumstances i knew they were watching each other so immediately i caught mr yochuri i said yochuri ji 
you're going in the car you're not going home you're going to the hospital and i ensured i told my office people that look he has to go to the hospital and he was smiling he was still trying to say no i'm not going to go but and that was the last time i saw my friend i came to the hospital again with the view of seeing him but unfortunately that never happened there were two moments when i was thinking about mr yuchuri and i was and i had no answer one was when his son passed away and i picked up the phone and i didn't know what to say i really just didn't know what to say and i called him and then i was silent on the other side because of what he was going through probably the hardest moment of his life uh, but then i met him a few days later and the same mr yuchuri tough brave mr yuchuri was back and then the other time i didn't know what to say was when i was writing to his wife after he passed and i was trying to you know i had got a draft we get drafts of letters and the draft just didn't fit the draft normally the draft fits and this draft just didn't fit i had to cancel out everything and so i was thinking what do i say to his wife who's going through such a hard time and the only thing i could say is that he was a person you could trust he was a person that you were sure 100% sure that he wasn't compromised in today's situation where there are pressures it's easy to get compromised he was not compromised and whatever he did he always did for the interest of our country every single time his starting point and maybe maybe my brothers in the left might not like it but his starting point was india and that was the point from which he began and of course after that was his political ideology his political conviction but whenever he would speak to me about the bjp and the rss he didn't say you know they're doing this and they're doing that he said look this is a danger to the country what they're doing to our institutions what they're doing to our structure what they're doing to our education system is going to destroy india and that's how he lived his life i am very proud to have been a friend of his thank you